So let's not proper technology is a big problem. It cannot be generic. It has to be area specific. And you have to see that what are the other factors operating in that area. So there is need for focus on that area also that to find out the proper mitigation strategy for every location. You cannot say that for whole India, fluoride has one solution. For whole India, arsenic has one solution. It is not that easy. So area specific mitigation strategy has to be formulated. That is very important. And one more problem that is coming in, in Bihar, I am working on arsenic and fluoride both in Bihar. In arsenic affected areas, social problems are coming. That has to be taken care of. That is marriage related problem or psychological problem. People are more aware. And due to our work, due to awareness, they are, they are, they are facing more problems rather solving. They are not getting the uh, arsenic free water, but their daughters are not getting married. So they say that what is the benefit of your research? That you have till now we are drinking the same old water, but you have other problems that we are, the daughters are not getting married. And then many boys who are ignorant, they are having in low age, they have high blood pressure <coughs> due to this mental trauma that they have this problem and it's not being cured. So there is another area that has to be taken care of, the, where, where the social sector is very important. And as I told you in the last session also that there has to be a proper uh, interface between technology and society. That is social science and technology, they cannot be compartmentalized into in different compartments. You have to integrate. Earlier, you know, people from science and technology say that, well, social aspect is not my domain. The social, the social scientists say that, okay, this is technology. I, I don't know any technology. But unless there is the convergence of the two, the solution is not going to be there. So this is the right time when technology and the social science should integrate with one another and then find out the solution. Then only the problem of arsenic or correct can be resolved. More than 400 million people accept Rajasthan. And we have to tackle it, as Mr. Chattadi has put it, dilution. Because rainfall is the best form of water, just like basic water. Dilution by using runoff water for irrigation. The well, government of India is having a scheme of the coal recharge. So uh, farmers are given subsidy for recharging the runoff water into the aquarium, irrigation aquariums. And in addition to that, for drinking water, tackling the drinking water problem, see, nowhere in the rural area, mainly in rural area, the roof area will not be less than 400 square feet. And with this available average annual rainfall, it is sufficient to meet the drinking and cooking water needs of five member family throughout the year. Then the main objective is mental barrier. Because the moment we do, uh, talk of roof water harvesting, People are telling, sir, it is exposed to bird dropping, bird dropping and dust. Then my, my counter question was, see, that water is considered as pious water. All this bird dropping is going there and the E. coli and all it will not uh, die. Whereas roof water, it is exposed to UV rays, sun rays. If it is exposed to UV rays for two hours, all the E. coli will die. And the dust particle, whatever getting into the double, not only will be getting into the roof, but in roof water harvesting system, there is a first train outlet prohibition. And I am not telling just blindly. In my experience, I worked extensively in Lakshadweep. For the last 15 years, in Lakshadweep, some of the islands, they meet the entire drinking water, cooking water needs from rainwater harvesting, roof water harvesting. Because roof is safe. And not only in Lakshadweep, it is learned that even northeastern states, also, this is being practiced, Mizoram especially, because uh, we put an exhibition and at that time Dr. Abdul Kalam came and asked whether you have visited Mizoram because it is being practiced there. So, this is the technology is available, then you need not go for all this uh, uh, detoxic, detoxification, RO and uh, your sludge treatment and all. Because by diluting, you are improving the entire aquifer. You are not uh, treating the symptom, you are treating the disease. So we have to create more awareness on roof water harvesting, generally rainwater harvesting, out of which roof water harvesting will be the safe bet. And if government spending is seen, some of the rural water supply based on the borehole as a source, it slips back up to in three, four years, and there also per capita cost is up to 9,000 because I am in one of the committees. 
per capita cost is up to 9000 whereas if you construct in the same cost on the roof out of uh, collection sum for tank they can they will have that ownership uh, feeling of ownership and they will maintain the roof water and they will maintain the tank so that will be a better option we have large number of areas i mean have got inherent salinity yes in the groundwater yeah. especially in rajasthan yes. 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 yes so for those kind of areas what kind of solution rajasthan the problem is there is a gypsum layer water logging is there because we know that there is impervious gypsum layer is there and below the sands so in rajasthan it is a bit, uh, uh, you have to have a special treatment plan and you have to have provision uh, it is recharging not through diverts you have to have uh, shallow borewells piercing below the gypsum layer 